Hi, Wayne Horvitz here with The Royal Room and the South Hudson Music Project. Welcome to the Staycation Festival and Solos.
So you were three years old in one day when Mount St. Helens exploded. What was that experience like for you? It was traumatic. Um, I'm still working through the trauma in my life from that, but very Where important. did you live? I, I was living in Seattle. So you got a, you got a fair enough at that. You got some ash. I, I have no idea. I, I don't remember it at all. <laughs> I did have I did have a, a poster of the with a picture of a volcano erupting on my bedroom wall when I was a little kid. So like that was staring at me every day. So Okay, here's another question. It's too full. What drew you to the base? And when did you decide you wanted to be to follow music in a, as a career? Yeah, the first time I remember wanting to play bass, I was actually I was a little kid and I remember being at, at Folk Life and there was a group of people busking there and one of them was, was playing bass and I, don't, I totally don't remember if the music was any good I didn't really care about how the bass sounded at the time I just I just thought it was really cool that this guy was playing an instrument that was as big as he was and like way bigger than I was at the time and I was like yeah. that's really neat I, I want to play that because it's huge um, but when I started college I was I was actually studying engineering and that, that was my plan was to become an engineer but I pretty quickly realized that I actually hated doing that. Like it was, it was something that I found fascinating, but I, I realized quickly that I didn't want to spend my life doing that. Whereas I was taking some music classes too, and as well as playing music and, and all doing that, it was always so exciting and inspiring to me. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Jeff Harper, and I'm talking with Abby Blackwell. Hello, Abby. Hi, Jeff. Okay, first of all, I'd like to ask you about this project. It's called Skylar, and I can't pronounce the last name. Uh, Skylar Shelset, yeah. I have had the pleasure of recording on uh, a couple of Sky's uh, records and played upright. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. You recorded with Macklemore. How did that happen, and what, what was that project all about? Andrew Joslin, he does the string arrangements for Macklemore. And uh, so sometimes... Uh, they want like you know big string sections on the recordings and so uh like a, a small string orchestra will go into the the studio and record like multiple uh tracks and like multi-track basically yeah it's... did you know that mark mclemore played on the mariners many years ago no okay last but not least there is this a two-part question uh oh why did you start playing the bass and what was the pinnacle moment when you decided that you wanted to follow music as a career? And in sixth grade, my band teacher, Miss Valdez, best teacher of all time, um, uh, she asked the class if anyone wanted to play the electric bass in the jazz band after school. And I said, yeah. And um, also my dad like played um, bass and guitar and so I was like my dad can totally teach me and he, he did so I got a job I got I got into web development it was only after a few years of being a working stiff and realizing that it made me so angry and sad and uh, maybe music is 100% of the time is is a good idea
Have you been um, inspired or interested in any particular kind of music or, or band recently? Or has that, uh, has anything been inspiring your playing lately? My favorite thing to listen to, just chilling out, is WWOZ, the radio station down in uh, New Orleans. Oh. And they'll have a Zydeco thing, and I never liked Zydeco, and, like, this is awesome Zydeco. And then they'll have just, like, straight-ahead jazz where it'll go anything from Miles Davis to Stan Kenton, whatever. I mean, That's they great. play records, and and then sometimes it's just weird esoteric noise music and Hip hop. I mean, it's really a neat. Uh, what's that word? Uh, eclectic radio station. WWOZ. WWOZ. What do you struggle with the most in, in your head? Like, I, I think it's self doubt. My head will get cramped up, and, and it, it, it inhibits me from listening. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Hi, my name is Jeff Harper, and I'm speaking with Chris Seimer. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Hi, Jeff. I'm doing great. So I think I've known you since 2002. Could that be correct? Yes. So ever since then, you've been tuning your bass in the fifths, starting with a low C, kind of like a cello, except an octave lower. Is this correct? That's the goal, yes. Why? why? I like the resonance involved um, in tuning the bass that way. One of the other motivating factors was just to try and get away from the idiomatic things that the bass just does. Changing the tuning had to change the way I, I dealt with the instrument. So it kind of forced me to, to think in a different way and, and approach some things in a, in a little different way. And I, I really enjoyed that process. What gravitated you towards playing the bass and what was your, your Yahoo moment when you realized you wanted to pursue music as a career? What got me into, into playing in the beginning, I mean, I have an older brother, uh, about three years older than I am, and my brother says, uh, you should play bass. And I said, why? And he said, because two guitar players can't play anything together, but a guitar player and a bass player could be in the same band. I'm like, yes, band with my big brother. So you don't have like a pinnacle moment? No.
Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.